now I'm coming to a point of how simply being present with all the various tools of the trade, cameras, microphones, recorders, and so forth, isn't enough. I want to return to that point. Do we understand that if we don't do our jobs as journalists completely and well, our microphones, our cameras, and our questions cease to be ways to set the record straight and microscopes for examining and evaluating truths. They become instead magnifying glasses that amplify falsehood. Because serious reporting can only be appreciated by an audience that has been educated to hold and to value serious concerns. Do we believe, you and I, journalists and aspiring journalists and the public at large, that we, the people, need the power of the press, battered and tarnished as it may have become, partly through the efforts of those who despise and fear it, partly through our own shortcomings and failures. Do we understand? Do we still believe? Do we remember that our craft, journalism, is a calling, and it's no less essential than any government branch? Because the reason our founders put freedom of the press right up there with freedom of religion and speech at the beginning was to be part of our intricate system of checks and balances on power. What we do matters, but only if we do it well and as if it matters, and that our calling is not to be liked, but to make a difference. Do we still believe these things? Do we understand these things or not? I ask this of myself, and I ask it of you, because these questions matter and have the guts to tell it. And in that role, I suggest you cannot and must not waver, hesitate, or cower. You cannot, must not be intimidated or distracted. Yours, my, and especially my young friends who aspire to be journalism. If you go into journalism, yours is essential, noble work. Good luck, Godspeed, thank you, and I'll be happy to take your questions.